Hi there, Chloe here, and let's see what I've been reading for the past two and a half months. Alright, so I don't know which video I'm going to post first, this one or the haul video that I did yesterday. Um, I'm still working on editing that one, so I'll have to edit this one, so I guess it just depends on how things go. So, um, it's been a while. <laughs> I need to get caught up. So I'm just going to kind of go through this. I'm going to go all the way back to April because I haven't let you guys know what I've been doing and reading and all that kind of stuff. You may know that since the last time I posted um, a video other than my Juneteenth video um, that I wrote two children's books. Um, well, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. I wrote and illustrated one children's book in a month because I was super inspired about the COVID-19 situation. I wrote a children's book two years ago to kind of help me cope with the whole Black Lives Matter thing that's been going on for quite a while. For people who don't know this is going on around, yeah, I wrote this book two years ago. Never had any intention of sharing it, but I self-published it and put it out there. So because of all of this inspiration that I've been having and also the fact that I've been really having a tough time with everything that's going on right now, including the fact that my dog is very sick. I haven't been writing a lot um, outside of the books I did, <laughs> uh, but also for a little while there I wasn't reading a lot. All of a sudden I am just like flying through books because I, I feel like I need the distraction and television is not that distraction for me, it's books. So let's see what I've been reading. We're going to go back to April because um, that's I think that's where I stopped kind of updating you guys. If you're following my Carney the Bookworm channel, you've been seeing at least the book reviews of the books I've been reading, but you don't know my updates, what's going on. I set myself the challenge to read 75 books this year. That's my Goodreads challenge. And I'm, at this point, I'm okay if I don't make that because... Not, not that I'm not going to try to make it, but I have another project that I really want to work on and I don't, once I really get into it, it's something I've been putting off for a while and I think now it kind of needs to be done. Um, it, it's going to suck up some of that reading time and I'm okay with that. So we'll see how that goes. I will say that I'm a little bit behind in some of my like personal like things, like I'm going to go through it here. So I've been really focusing on making sure that I'm reading more nonfiction because I'm in the IWSG book club and alternate months. One month we read a nonfiction book and one month we read a fictional book that's about um, something about the writing craft. And so that's helping me read more nonfiction. I <sighs> still haven't gotten around to just picking up nonfiction on my own. I'm working on it. Another thing is because I read comic books anyway, I'm really picking up um, more graphic novels and specifically like non-superhero graphic novels. So um, I have, have a bunch of them, but th that's actually where I'm kind of behind right now. I haven't been picking up my graphic novels. There's actually one on the list that I'm going to be going through in a second that I've been reading for a while. I just keep forgetting to go back to it. I'll get into that in a minute. Another thing is I've been wanting to read um, books by local authors. I've been doing okay with it. Um, I only read one book by a local author in the past two and a half months, so not great but i'm making an effort um i probably should do better but you know <laughs> uh the next thing is i've been this has been a goal of mine to read books written by black authors or books that have uh, predominant um black characters um in the stories um so i've been doing pretty good with that i'll go over that uh, reading more picture books. I work with kids. I actually enjoy picture books. I'm actually going to be working on a presentation series on my Carney the Bookworm channel. Reasons why I think people should do things. And one of those things is I think that adults should read children's books. Which most people don't like my opinions anyway. So that's why I just put them out there. I don't expect people to like them. But that's coming. The next thing is expanding my fiction. So um I love fiction. People will argue that fiction is a waste of time. I think maybe those people lack some imagination, but to each his own. <laughs> um, 
But for me, um, I have always been really into like science fiction and fantasy and paranormal stuff like that. And I'm still into those things, but I am trying to expand that more. I've been reading some mysteries, some cozy mysteries, contemporary romances, spin thrills. I'm trying to, you know, stick with my fiction, but maybe um, just expand it a little bit. And also with that, um, I, I mostly stick with adult fiction. For years, I've kind of struggled with YA, um, young adult fiction. Um, it used to kind of annoy me. I would call it yay because that's what it is in my head, like yay. Like, <laughs> like I even think I posted a video a while back where I was like, I just call it yay because to me, that's what a lot of it is. And that's probably a really negative outlook to have. The truth of the matter is if I go back and look at the YA stories that I've read, some of them I have really, really liked. And I think the ones that I didn't really like, I either just didn't finish them or I didn't review them. There, I think there's a couple that I've reviewed and I've said, you know, this thought this was a little tough for me. So anyway, the whole point of that ramble was that I'm also venturing into middle grade fiction. You know, I feel like middle grade is one of those things that you read when you are that age demographic and then you never read it again. And I don't know why. There are plenty of adults who read YA, so why not middle grade? So I've been getting into that. And then lastly, anthologies. Um, I've always liked anthologies, but there was a period of time where I struggled with short fiction because I always felt like there should be more. You know, <laughs> it took me a while to really get into accepting short fiction as, as this medium where you this is finite and you have this like short piece that you think about and ponder or whatever. So anyway, uh, reading more anthologies. So that was, you know, the goal that I set out <laughs> to try to read one book in each of those categories every month which is how I came up with the idea of me reading 75 books a year which of course I am behind on and I'm okay with that. So here's what I read between April, May, and June. So this is this is right now. We're in, technically in June. There's a couple of days left but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up June um, but I'm gonna <laughs> caveat by saying that it might actually change. So real quick what I'm currently reading which I'm, I'm I'm assuming that these will be books that will be like reviewed and spoken about in the month of July because it's it's June right now. I'm currently rereading Cloud Atlas because that's um, the IWSG Book Club, Club book, and I can't remember if we're studying structure or character. We might be doing both. We might be doing character structure. I don't remember. I have to go back and look. But in, either way, it's a reread for me. And I'm also reading a middle grade book that is fantasy mythology, not Greek mythology, but African American and West African Greek, not Greek, <laughs> West African gods. Like I am so excited about that. It's called Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. I don't know how I missed this book. But I got it and I'm reading it. And the reason why I said I'm cutting off June here, but my list might change is because at the rate I'm going, I might finish this book before the end of June. Who knows? We'll see. So anyway, I'm going to go by category, not month, and just tell you uh, what I've read since um, for April, May, and June. So in the area of nonfiction for those months, I only read one nonfiction book. I know. I just... It is what it is, people. <laughs> and it was an IWS book club read, so thank goodness for that. I read um, Creating Character Arts. I gave it an overall rating of 4.25. And if you want to see the review for that, you can go to the uh, Carney the Bookworm channel and watch it there. Or you can actually visit the Lit Carnival blog and read it there. Or on Goodreads. All the different places that I leave with reviews. So next is the graphic novels. And again, I mentioned earlier that I'm actually behind on this. So the first graphic novel that I read in April, May, June was a reread, actually, because apparently the first time I read it, I didn't review it. And I have no idea why. Like, that's not like me. So <laughs> I reread it. And I'm, I'm going to you know, just admit that I didn't do like a thorough read. Like, I went through and I and I read it, but like the stories that I remember being my favorite stories, I really spent a lot of time on the ones that weren't my favorites but were still good. You know, I just I I, I read them anyway. So um, that one was called Monsters and Other Scary. 
<laughs> I gave that one a five stars and again you can visit my other channel or blog to see the review of that. I should be reading more graphic novels but I'm, like I said I'm behind. Um, currently the graphic novel that I'm reading isn't um, widely available I guess it's technically an arc. Um, the author did a Kickstarter for it so it's being released. It is the sequel to another graphic novel that I read. It was the graphic novel anthology and it's Cthulhu is hard to spell the terrible twos and um, so it's about um, Lovecraftian gods and things like that so um, all with like modern you know spins and twists and stuff like that all of the bad stuff taken out funny stuff put in you know whatever and I've just been really struggling to get through it not because the content isn't good or anything it's just it is the, con the content is dark the content is dark, so I have to be in a mood to read that, and I just haven't been in a mood to read that. Nothing against the anthology itself. I'm going to get to it. It's just, it's been slow moving. So next category is local author, and again, shame on me, between April, May, and June, I've only read one book by a local author, but when I finish the two books that I'm currently reading, and what's coming up next will be by a local author, so I feel good about that at least. I read uh, Teardrops of the Innocent, and I gave that one a five star, and again, you know where to go to find the review for that. The next category is a book by a black author or a book with a main black character, prominent characters of color um, something along those lines so between april may and june which um you know that i'm reading the trisha strong book right now so we'll see that one might get in there um and i'm also rereading cloud atlas so what i actually read i read a book called pride which is a modern retelling of pride and prejudice told with people of color um it's the story of uh, the benitez family and the darcy family um, and they live in, in the hood, um, but, you know, the Darcy family is wealthy, the Benitez family isn't, da 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 I'm not going to go into that. You can see the other um, channel for the review, and I gave Pride five stars. Totally worth reading. Retellings aren't for everyone, but I feel like if you've never read Jane Austen, you could still read this and get something out of it. You don't even have to know that it's a retelling to get something out of it. The other thing that I read was called City of Ghosts. Now, City of Ghosts was not written by a person of color. Um, it was written by a woman, um, a Canadian woman. But the main character in this story is a, 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 a black man, and, and it takes place in China. So there's Asian characters, there's lots of diversity. So that one was really good. I gave that five stars. The next one is Picture Books. Uh, so I read Not Norman, which I gave five stars, Not Norman features a little black boy in the story. I, I didn't pick it up because it's a little black boy. It's a story about a goldfish, with I, which I thought was interesting. So I'm like, what is this going to be about? It was very cute. Um, the next one was Save the Ocean. I gave that one four stars. And that had a little black mermaid in it. <laughs> Again, the story has nothing to do with her being little black mermaid. But I thought she was really cute. Uh, the next one is Ladder to the Moon. I gave that one a 3.75. And when I picked up this book, I picked it up because I thought the image on the front of it was just beautiful and didn't know anything about it after I read it. I found out, I think the person who wrote it is related to President Obama. I'm not sure. I should probably have figured that out before I did this video. Anyway, um, beautiful, very deep. The only reason why I gave it a 3.75 is because I felt like some of the concepts might go over it. Um, a child's head like I felt like the story needed a lot of explanation and there's nothing wrong with it I would encourage parents to read it and explain it but that's why I gave it a 3.75 and then the last picture book I read was My Curly Fro and I gave that a 4.75 and um, yeah you can read the review to find out why. Next is my fiction category <laughs> now remember with the fiction we already know that I love science fiction fantasy and paranormal so You'll see some of that, but also my aim, like I said, was to include middle grade fiction in that to, <laughs> sorry, I'm like all over the place, um, include some middle grade fiction in that and then also like some, some um, contemporary fiction, mysteries, thrillers, things outside of my comfort zone, basically. Um, what we have in this current list for April, May, June is a lot of middle grade fiction. <laughs> Um, I did Bad Fairy. Um, that I gave that one a five stars. 
And then I read um, two books in the Pixie Dust series by Rosa Nolte. Um, Act Us First Hunt, I gave it four stars to. And then Act Us Ice Headache, I gave five stars to. Then I read um, Messenger, which is um, a novella or novella, it's really short. Um, a long short story. <laughs> anyway, I gave that five stars. And then I also read Smitten with Ravioli, which was a rom-com. Very funny. Good times. Last but definitely not least are my anthology. So between April, May, and June, June <laughs> I read three anthologies. I read Grumpy Old God Volume 1, which is actually the second um, series um, installment in the series. I think the first Grumpy Old God's book I read was Volume 3 absolutely love it very entertaining i think i gave that one a five star this one i ended up giving four stars to because it was good but for some reason it just wasn't as good definitely entertaining i read a series um a book called a quick bite and i gave that one a five stars and what's special about this anthology is it's a, it's a paranormal anthology vampires werewolves zombies but each story is only 200 words and it's not necessarily always like even though there are these there are these creatures the stories themselves aren't always paranormal in nature most of them deal with like everyday common stuff it's pretty deep very good read and then the last anthology that i read i'm, I'm debating between some of the other stuff that i've read this year but this is definitely one of the most I, this might be the best book i've read so far this year it, it might be. I'm, I'm, I don't know. IWSG Anthology, they release one every year, different themes, stuff like that. This one just happened to be middle grade theme, which is something that I'm working on. And it's called Voyagers. And this anthology is so good. I, I you, you, Adults can read it. Kids can read it. It's, it's very... Um, I think a lot of times people think that middle grade books don't have a lot of substance to them. They don't hit hard subjects. This book hits some hard subjects. And it's appropriate for kids. I mean, it is a middle grade anthology. But considering everything that's going on with COVID-19, Black Lives Matter, it's um, a lot of people are observing Pride Month right now. There's so many different cultural things that are happening right now. This book came out at just the right time. I really hope the cells are going really well for this book because Voyager's is good. I'm so glad I read it. I will probably read it again before the end of the year. So that's what I've been reading. Sorry for the long video. I'm not going to be making any predictions about what I'm going to be reading next. I do have things lined up. Obviously, I mentioned that. But um, I'm going to, you know, try to do better. Um, hopefully, <laughs> nothing else horrible will happen to distract me. I am going to be working on this other project, so I won't be reading as much. So I may or may not make my good read goal, but I'm okay with that. So um, tell me, you know, what you guys are reading, how you're doing and coping. Um, did you miss me at all? <laughs> or were you like, uh, that's toy. And um, let me know what you thought of some of the stuff I read. Either way, I hope you're doing well. And that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.